This is Dan Henderson. You're watching MMA Fight Corner. Dan, thank you so much for joining the show. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Very well. And again, we are speaking with UFC 173 light heavyweight Dan Henderson, who will be fighting here in Las Vegas on May 24th, taking on Daniel Cormier, who, as we know, both of you are Olympic wrestlers. And I think that the styles, though, are very differing from what you studied and from what he can do as far as the, the wrestling matches up. Where do you see this playing out in the wrestling game, Dan? Uh, well, I think the wrestling is, is going to make uh, a big, you know, be a big part of this fight. It's just about who can uh, kind of stick to their game plan and, and and execute it. And and you know, I think yeah, you know, I'm obviously going to be trying to knock Daniel out, and he's going to be trying to take me down a little bit. And and uh, yeah, I need to defend that in order to to be able to land some strikes. So it'll it'll be an interesting fight for sure. You're coming off a huge performance against Mauricio Hua. Definitely a win and a must, much needed victory for yourself. Uh, how much momentum do you feel that you have coming off of that fight into this? Uh, well, it's always nice, uh, you know, to get the win, of course. But you know, coming into a big fight like this, to, to you know, have that confidence that. Uh, it comes with with a good victory like that, and and yeah, you know, I just think that uh, you know Cormier is just a different fighter than than most, and and you know the biggest thing is making sure I'm out there fighting smart. And he currently does have an undefeated record. Uh, you say you, part of it is that you have to fight smart, but for you, this is kind of a quick turnaround uh, as far as the from the last fight to this one. How has the camp been going? And do you have any? And how do you feel about the, his undefeated record? Do you think that you'll be the guy to stop that? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I'm not really worried about anybody's record. Everybody starts out undefeated, and, and uh, you know, eventually they 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 will lose. And uh, you know, May 24th will be his day. And and uh, you know, he's he's uh, he's tough. And and you know, it's his second time fighting at light heavyweight. And and yeah, you know, I know. He's going to be cutting some weight and have trouble getting getting down there, but uh, I'm looking forward to, to testing myself against him. Well, Dan, it's kind of interesting. We were talking about you know you before you came on the air, and we were talking about how you're just we're ten days away from the 16th anniversary of you winning UFC 17 tournament. I mean, that's 16 years ago. How much time do you really think you have left in the cage? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, you don't have to say it quite like that. <laughs> I don't mean it like that, you know, but so, I mean, it's just unbelievable because they say the average lifespan of a fighter is, you know, 10 to 12 years, but you've seemed to surpass that by a, a, a lot. Uh, yeah, I think it's just being smart with your training and, and, uh, you know, and, and not try not to get beat up too bad in fights. And, and I, for the most part, have done that throughout my career and and uh you know i feel good my body feels good and i feel capable of, of beating these top guys and and yeah i'm gonna do it until i can't well you know uh one of the things that was going on for a while was the trt exemption use and all the talk about that but vitor recently said that he feels like an animal off of the trt what about you how are you feeling uh, I pretty much feel the same as always, and you know it's uh, yeah maybe maybe a little bit less energy, but yeah I uh, I'm just moving forward without it, and and you know I think uh, I'm capable of doing doing what I need to do uh, you know without using TRT, and and you know I'll have to. Uh, figure out something else uh, that the doctors will recommend for me instead. Excellent. I, I, I love the enthusiasm. And Dan, what about another title run? Do we have one in you? Well, I believe that's what uh, this fight is. I mean, the, the winner will get a title shot and, and uh, you know, that, that's my ultimate goal. But, you know, to, to reach that goal, I've got to beat, you know, Daniel Cormier, who's pretty tough. 
And, uh, you know, like you mentioned, the UFC did say that the winner of this fight will be next in line for a title shot. But we know that first, John Jones will have to rematch Alexander Gustafsson. Who will you be rooting for to win in that fight? Uh, it doesn't matter. I mean, the ultimate goal is, is to uh, to get that title. And, and, you know, whoever has it is, is the guy that I want to fight. You don't so, feel you know I I don't necessarily be will be rooting for anybody in particular, but uh, you know um, I'm just looking forward to to beating Daniel Cormier first. Excellent. And with the as far as the title shot and all is concerned, you don't feel like you have any unfinished business with John Jones, so to speak. Uh yeah yeah and I'm sure. You know that fight will happen whether he wins or loses uh, against Scuffs. And I'm I'm sure that uh, you know that fight can still happen. And uh, Phil had mentioned earlier, you know how long you've been a part of this sport. I mean, you're a former Pride champion, a former Strike Force champion. What has it taken for you to have this career with such longevity? Uh, I don't know. I guess stubbornness. <laughs> you know, I think that that definitely helps, and and just you know the the love of the sport, and and you know I get excited for big fights, and and it's pretty much every fight I have is a big fight, and and uh, it just yeah, I guess keeps it fresh for me. And your family is getting a lot older now. We've seen in some of the countdown episodes glimpses of your family life. You keep it really simple, you know. It seems that. You have this kind of quiet, out-and-away area where you raise your daughters. How much does it drive you seeing them grow and and just become adults and wanting to be able to give them all the best in life? How much does that drive you? Uh, It definitely is is a big part of why why I'm still competing. But, you know, it's probably going to be the reason why I retire, too, just so I can spend more time with them. And, and, you know, I just... uh, you know, I'm just a normal guy with a with a different job, and and uh, you know I love hanging out with them. Yeah, I'm pretty much a taxi driver when I'm at home, <laughs> and and taking them everywhere. So, um, you know, I enjoy it though. It, it wouldn't change that for anything. Yeah, you say you're a normal guy, Dan, and uh, I mean I'd like to agree with you, but you are far from normal. You are uh, on another level when it comes to just being a man. I think when you look in the dictionary and they show. You look up the word man, they should show a picture of you. But how do you do the, the balancing of being a fighter and being a father? Does it, is it uh, easier or harder because you kind of get your own schedule, but you're also, you know, you're very busy and you got a lot of obligations. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's tough to, to, to do and, and, to, and to do everything I need to do for my sport and myself and get, getting ready and, and still be able to... Uh, you know, be at all their their events and and everything they got going on. But I've I've managed over the years to to get my training schedule, you know, that that works for for that. And and uh, you know, I, I just do what I have to do to to be there, you know, to support them for their sports and everything else they do. All right. Uh, where are you training right now, Dan? Just curious, Ada. Is it still the the usual places? Yeah, just in, in Temecula at my gym. So just, uh, you know, I I don't typically like to go anywhere to train, so I just stay at home and, and uh, train at my gym. I got more more training partners and, and better training partners than usually if I go somewhere else. So well, I like I, to stay home. Well, we again want to thank you so much for your time, Dan. Uh, again, Dan Henderson, the co-main event of UFC 173. He will be taking on the undefeated Daniel Cormier here in Las Vegas. That's at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. And again, that's May 24th. Tickets are on sale now. So make sure to check out Ticketmaster.com for those tickets. And Dan, if you're still on the line again, thank you for your time. Oh, no worries. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it.